and also large ones, which is like a pizza, and filled with whatever you'd like. So what is this? So this is another Maltese traditional plate. Yes. It is a fried rabbit with uh, like onions um, yeah. and so on, and uh, with other fr fresh herbs. And do you usually eat it with fries or? Uh, some people, yes, yeah. do. We also have uh, a Maltese potato, mm -hmm. traditional. It's called uh, patata al corn, and it is served with rabbit as well. Mm. This is really good, actually. It's like a big roll of sugar, pretty much, but it's really good. So you really you eat this with your hands, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. They make small ones and mm -hmm. also this size. They're filled with ricotta. Mm. And uh, at the end they have nuts. Yeah. Mm. Really good. Something that I like about Malta is that you're able to sit outside like all the time because the weather's almost always nice. church for each day of the year so you can go each day to a new church if you'd like to. get to see some of it as well. So we're overlooking the Fort St. Angelo and it used to be the Fort of the Maltese Knights and it's 800 years old so it's uh, pretty old. <laughs> snack 
app right now, which is uh, traditional Maltese nougat, so it's really good. And we were speaking about the uh, knives earlier, and you can actually win a small knife, and all you need to do is comment down below, and you need to answer this question. So do you have uh, traditional food in your country or traditional snack? Please comment down below, and you can get a chance to win this. Remember to tune in next week for another episode.